الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب It was reported that Al-Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, said, By Allah, never was a person given an abundance of worldly wealth and then not feared this might be a plot against him for his wrongdoing, except a person lacking intelligence and sound opinion. And never has Allah held back worldly wealth from a person, and that person has not thought that a good choice has been made for him, except a person who also lacks intelligence and sound opinion. And this was collected in by Ibn Abi Dunya. Ayul Ahbab, in this statement of Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, it's been made clear for us and that this was the madhab of the salaf, because this is one of the aqwal or one of the statements of the salaf, rahimahumullah jami'an, that the salaf used to view that a person who was given a lot of wealth and if that person did not reflect and think that this perhaps might be a test, or might be, uh, or it might, it, that it might be a test for his sins. That the person who believed this, then they were that they that this would be a test, or feared that this would be a test, is from the people of iman and the people of sound intellect. But the person who believes that they've been favored, and it's because of something they have done, which is good, good or they at least did not fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that, then this is not a person of, of great intellect. And this is, shows you also how the Salaf used to put great, great importance on the intellect. And that a sound intellect is that which conforms to the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm nafi, rizqan tayyib, wa amalan muttaqabbilan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.